There we go. What's going on? Instagram, Facebook, later on YouTube. It's your girl, Kim Millie Prosperity, out of Pula, Georgia. And I'm going to go ahead and tell you, you're going to like this video. Let me check something right quick. You're going to like this video. So if you haven't already subscribed to my channel, go ahead and do that. And I would appreciate it if you would hit the thumbs up button as well. A lot of people say they like my content. So hopefully you stay being one of those people. So this video right here, I titled it um, on Facebook. I don't know what it will be by the time it gets to YouTube, but I titled it on Facebook, why I watch M anti, anti MLM videos, even though um, I'm in an MLM. <laughs> I know, right? Sounds crazy. But as you guys should know by now, I don't have it all, right? Or my, let's say, let's say it better. My brain works a little differently than most. So yes, I'm in an MLM. Some of y'all call it, call all MLMs a pyramid scheme. I really don't care what you call it as long as they continue to pay me. I'm not worried about the naysayers because I have too many people who absolutely love what I do and the products I provide. So it's all good in the hood with me, baby. All right. I don't like what some of y'all do, but I don't go to your job harassing you. <laughs> but anyway, um, I have been doing this for quite some time. This is not my first MLM. Um, I was not always good like I am now. No, I'm just playing. But no, I used to could not even give away things for free in my first company. Like literally, I couldn't give away free samples. Um, but now I'm a part of the top retailers, mm -hmm. um, like group or whatever. And I built my business, an international business strictly from YouTube, strictly from video marketing. And, um, I love it. Like I make more selling tea than I ever did with my master's degree and not just because it rhymes, but, <laughs> but I will tell you this. If you are new to the profession, if you are new to this industry, if you are new to this company, if you are new to whatever, cause I have a lot of people from different companies who also watch my videos. If you are new, don't try this at home kids. Okay. Do not try this. If I have been watching the anti MLM videos, when I first started, I would have quit, all right? Because I would have been like, they're right. But because I know they're wrong a lot of times, not all the times, and we're going to get into it, but because I know they're wrong, it doesn't bother me. It doesn't faze me, right? It's like if somebody were talking about um, all women so high maintenance nowadays and they all they do is want a sugar daddy, like somebody talking like that doesn't bother me because that doesn't apply to me, so you just sound foolish, <laughs> Right? So you don't address things that don't pertain to you. You don't get, your feathers don't get ruffled by people talking smack about something that doesn't apply. So, hey, Tanisha, what's going on? Hey, Carlton. Hey, I'm every woman. And I saw a few other people slip in here. But, um, Joe Mo, how you doing? So, listen, guys, the reason why I watch um, anti-MLM videos, three reasons. Number one, that right, hit dogs bar. But otherwise, why not? But the first thing is I watch them because they're funny. They're, well, they're funny to me. Um, then I watch them because they tell me what to do. And, and two and three, they kind of go hand in hand. I watch them because they tell me what to do because by def they tell me what to do by default because they tell me what not to do. And I'm going to be honest with you. It's already stuff I already knew because I am one, in case y'all do not know, like so many people don't even know I'm in a pyramid scheme. Booga, booga, booga. They find out later. But the reason why they don't know is because I'm not one of that person who conforms to the norm of what pyramid schemers, some of them are funny. Oh man, they, they're hilarious, right? I'm going to go into it. But um, when I first got into MLM network marketing, I used to do all that stuff. I used to be like, form, uh, what does form stand for? Family, occupation, recreation, money message. And when I would go to people, I would go through form in my head and I would try to like go out in the streets and I'm going to the grocery store for milk. And now instead of me buying milk, I'm trying to strike up a conversation with you about the weather. No, I did that for years, y'all. And it didn't feel right. I didn't like it. And more importantly, it was not res yielding results. So now when I go to the grocery store for milk, I go for milk. Not to meet somebody and then say, hey, I was looking for people in your area. Hell, your area is my area. I'm looking, like, what? I don't do that anymore, right? Um, And I, I never thought that MLM could work for me because I'm not a people person, believe it or not. I'm not a people person. And so um, 
when I got into Emma, in, into this profession, I thought I had to be a people person. I thought three feet rule. Anybody within three feet of me, I had to talk to and become their best friend. And no doesn't mean no. It means not right now. Hell, sometimes no means no. <laughs> it means never. Okay? And I got that and I'm fine with that. So it took a lot of trial and error for me. It took a lot of me saying, okay, you know, I didn't like a lot of people when I came in. I still don't like. The truth is, I still don't like a lot of people. Okay? Because people be what? Peopling. And peopling involves a lot of stuff that I just don't be here for. All right? So I'm not that in my limo that if you see me out, I'm going to stop you. No, I have stuff to do. I have other ways of getting people into my funnel. A booga booga booga. Right? I have other ways of recruiting people. None of which, well, many of which most people don't use because it's a long-term play. And because it really takes you doing things wrong, I think. <laughs> they do be people in, but it takes you really doing things wrong enough times and not getting the results and then getting sick and tired until you learn, you know what, let me find my own lane and do it right. So the first thing, the uh, anti-MLMers, they be funny. They are hilarious, y'all. And I don't have screenshots because I'm not that technologically advanced. Y'all know I just talk about stuff, but they are hilarious. Most of them, not all, most of them are like married Many of them don't have kids. They done did up some room in their house and their spouse let them sit on YouTube and um, talk about MLMers. And the privilege be oozing from a boy. They be like, I mean, like, if you need more money, just go get another job. I be like, really, Sarah? Really? Because with this hair and this mouth, might not be as easy for me as it is for you. But I understand why you say that. I understand why you don't get it, Sarah. But this is quite amusing. Like, I love looking at the world through other people's eyes at times. So, uh, now I'm not going to lie. It's not just them, too. It's not just them that's funny. It's the clips that they choose. Because these chicks are about that life. And, 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 and warning, warning. A lot of the anti-MLMers... Yeah, a lot of them. Because uh, there are anti-MLMers and then there are anti-anti-MLMers, right? Because <laughs> this is 2022 and this is just how people do. So there are a lot of people who have left the anti-MLM world and they are the whistleblowers on the anti-MLMers. So they're like, all oh, those girls are just doing those videos anyway because they know it's a hot topic and it gets a lot of ranks. You can start a YouTube channel literally like this and rank up just by bashing MLMs. And their videos do get a lot of views. Very, very quickly. Their videos do get a lot of subscribers. Very, very, like a lot of people hate MLMs. A lot of people hate MLMs, y'all. It's astonishing, right? So some of them, it's a money grab. For others of them, um, they just ain't got nothing to do, right? And their husbands let them sit at home and play on the YouTuber. So that's what they doing. Um, but I'm not going to lie. Some of the clips that they have from, is this live? <laughs> Yes, Mike Miller is live. <laughs> um, but the other thing that's funny is the clips that they choose about the, the MLMs because these, these girls are serious about their job, right? So they will go and sit on the Zooms. They will go and take your Facebook Live. Shoot, I might pop up on, on there one day. Hopefully I do. That, that's how I'll know I made it. <laughs> but I doubt I will because they mostly highlight and I'm not going to lie, they highlight people that really just be trying to get you, right? I don't be trying to get nobody. I just be talking. And if you like what I say, then you reach out to me. And if you don't, then you, I never hear from you. And that's fine. You just, oh, Mike Miller say, I just came across your videos Friday. Been watching all weekend. Oh, woo, 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 Mike Miller. Woo, woo, woo. Um, I don't know which videos you came across, though. This is not a consumer protection one. You know, I do a lot of different things. So, But if you just want to hear me talk, then welcome. So, um, so the calls, y'all, cause I ain't gonna lie, it's crazy when you think about some of the things that people do and when they break it down. And I already knew this because I know I've been approached by MLMs and I'd be like, ma'am, stop telling me I'm beautiful and I should be a, a model. No, I don't want to go to your Mary Kay par party, which by the way, I actually buy Mary Kay. Only the, the makeup remover. That's the only thing I've been buying the makeup remover for 12 years. That's the only thing I buy. But no shade to Mary Kay. But I'm not going to know. I don't want to be pampered for free. I don't want to do those things. So I get why people be mad. But 
when the anti-MLMers highlight it, they'll like play your video and then they'll pause it and they'll be like, oh, and they say the F word a lot. So they'll be like, what the fudge is she talking about? Like who the fudge wants it? Like they be really hot under the collar about people like, well, not people like me because I don't do that, but people who do what I do. And when you watch back and you watch them break it down from a person outside looking in, this is where I get into points two and three. It tells you what to do by default by showing you what not to do. But I already knew this long, long ago. But they, they be showing screenshots of conversations. They, they show you everything and then they're like, how does this make sense? You haven't spoken to this person in years. And now, and they call the MLM women, um, MLM huns. Like MLM huns. So they be like the hun bots. And I'm like, why are they calling them huns? What is this? What is this? What is this about? So come to find out the reason why they call most women in MLMs, MLM huns or hun bots is because a lot of people will get in the inbox and then say, hey, hun. And I'm just like, oh, my gosh, I've had that happen to me a few times. Now, I ain't going to lie. My community, we don't do the hun. We be like, what's up, sis? <laughs> oh, what up, queen? Or whatever. And I don't even do that. I usually call people by their names, but I don't jump in inboxes anymore. But, um... But yeah, when you listen to a person on the outside, if you're an MLM, I think it's important because I will definitely, I'll hang out with the ops for Intel. That don't bother me at all. Like I said, I don't care anything about what you think about the profession because here's what I know. I know I got customers. I know I got commissions. And I know that I make more selling tea than I ever did with my master's degree. And I know that I'm a single parent and I'm able to stay at home and, and on a Sunday, instead of getting ready for work, coming to work, Getting ready for work tomorrow, I'm able to sit at a desk, talk in my place, and look through the window at my child playing outside. I know that much. So what do I care about your experience or your view on what I do? I don't give a rat's pooty tooty patootie like my friend Candy B say. <laughs> Doesn't matter to me. Now, I understand why some of them have that view, though. And I strongly encourage you, if you only if you've been in this profession long enough that you actually believe in it, and you're like, no, I'm going to make it work. I just have to find out how. Then you might want to start watching these anti-MLM videos because they're going to tell you what to do by showing you what not to do. 007. <laughs> but I'm telling y'all, they are like so hilarious. It's one of my favorite things to do. It's better than reality TV because it really is. And they are lit. Now, some of these things are sad. Some of these things are very, very sad because they have shown like where people have said, Oh, and, and I've, I've seen this actually play out by some people that are like, hey, will you check what I did wrong in this interaction? I've seen people say things like, hey, you didn't follow back up with me with the product. And then somebody said, oh, well, you know, I had a death in the family. And they're like, oh, okay, I would go completely understandable. So did you like the product? And I'm like, what? What are you doing? They just, you completely understandable is not sending condolences. Like if you saw somebody in the street, would you treat them like that? No. So don't treat them like that online. And it's funny. And y'all laugh at me, but <coughs> excuse me, y'all I told y'all I wasn't feeling so good. So I still have a little bit of that residual cough, but, um, I tell people when they join me, do not like, Hey, I like how we're talking on the phone. Cause I usually attract cool people cause I'm a cool girl, right? So I'm, I always have a good conversation with the person on the phone, but I always tell them, listen, you sound like a cool person. Do not join this business and become a weirdo because that's usually where people fail. Hey, what's going on? Sexy chocolate 77. <laughs> I be calling out full Instagram names. Now look how many people go to your profile and jump in your, your DMs. Ooh, she sound cute. <laughs> but, um, yeah, like I see so many weird things going on where, and let me tell y'all something. It's not that people hate MLMs. They hate MLMers. They hate the person or they, I shouldn't say hate. They dislike the person. They don't dislike the company. And I know for a fact, my customers, they don't dislike the products. They dislike the people. Do y'all know how many customers are mine because they didn't like their other TLC route? Maybe because the person didn't know what they were talking about. Maybe because the person was always trying to get them to join their team for their own purposes. Maybe because the person what never had stock, never had sales, never knew what was going on, quit the business. I like, especially now that I've been in this company since 2015, 
the lion's share of my business is other people's customers. Okay? And, and that and that's what's so funny too. Like on these videos, they'll Sharice said, Yes, the products are good. They're great. They're great. And that's the other thing about anti-MLM videos. I've come to realize there are some people that are in companies where the products suck. So it makes me appreciate my company more when I see what other companies do. There, I've, I've learned from these anti-MLM videos that there are some companies that you got to sell a certain amount of product before you can even qualify for commissions. What? I thought that's what I joined for. Shouldn't I get that right off the rip? So there are so many benefits. And this is why I encourage people like... Especially if you can do something from a passive pet standpoint, right? Like I wouldn't engage in a conversation with an MLMer because then you're going to be under the impression that I have to convince you that I'm going to convince. I, I don't convince people of nothing no more. I'm 42 years old. Either you want it or you don't. Either you understand or you don't. Either you, either you do or you don't. I really don't care. It means nothing to me. I'm rocking with the people who do what I do. And that's how I keep my life simple. That's how I keep my stress low. That's why I ain't on, I ain't on no, uh, ain't on no uh, medications, okay? Because I don't be out here trying to convince, persuade, manipulate people. I really don't care what you do. Do what you do. Because that's what I'm going to do. But I'm telling you, these anti-MLM videos, if you are not a newbie, because if you're a newbie, you're going to quit. Because you're going to be like, they're right. Because you haven't had enough success yet to see that they're wrong. You shouldn't take these statements that they make that are pertaining to a specific company or a specific person or a specific situation and extrapolate them out to make you think that that's what you, is going to be your experience. Because like a lot of them cite statistics. Well, statistically, only 1%. And I'm not saying that's not true. But what I'm saying is I don't live my life by stats. Statistically, as a single parent, should I be making the money that I'm making? No. Statistically, as a single parent, should my son be as healthy mentally as he, as he is? No. He comes from a broken home, right? So I don't, statistically, a southern girl with locks in her hair, I've defeated a lot of statistics. So in my life, I, and I ain't gonna lie, what, what, what do we call now? What's the PC way? POC, people of color, right? My my people, we done learned a long time ago not to pay no attention to no statistics. If we did, we would be all fudged up in the words of the anti-MLMers, right? We, we learned long ago to ignore statistics. So you really got to make a decision in life, right? Whether What you want, and then you got to go hard in the paint for it. That's how I live my life. And that's the type of people I like to be around. So watching the anti-MLM videos, they're fodder for me. They're comedy relief, but they do have some truth. And I strongly, 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 I don't, let me know too. Y'all saying facts, facts. It's not, it's the people. It's not the system. Yeah, absolutely. I have seen some things, y'all, and I have had to get real jiggy with some people. Because, I mean... When you are in a company and you're doing well, you attract a lot of attention from other people. Do you know how many people, I don't even know who they are. And they get in my inbox, hey, queen, I'd love for you to be a part of my team. Um, check out this link. What? Shoot, maybe I should do that. Maybe I should join the anti-MLM com community while I'm still in the MLM. <laughs> I think I would be the first ever. <laughs> And do my own videos. Because it's absolutely ridiculous some of the things that come in my inbox and how some people approach me. Like, what did I ever say to you to make you think that I would leave this train that I'm riding on, that I'm, and I'm enjoying the ride, and jump on your bandwagon when I don't even know who you are, and you're not doing nothing. I can go to your page right now, and there's nothing on there to show me that you're successful, to make me want your product, to make me want to uproot the whole entire team that I've built over here and take them over you, over there with you, Mr. Anonymous, Mr. Unknown, you telling me I would love for you to be a part of my team? I'm sorry, but that's not a mating call, baby. <laughs> that's like me going out on the street, right? And then me seeing a guy, he being like, hey, you're cute, you're funny, you make good money. And I got a lot of medical problems. 
I need a nurse that I can frequently have sex with. Will you marry me? Sounds great, sir. <laughs> you just told me all the ways I can benefit you. Nothing in it for me. Yeah, let's do this. Meet me at the altar. Like, what? What? And that's really what people do nowadays. They will go up to somebody and say all the good things about them and then use that to try to reel them in for that person to hitch their wagon to their horse. It's the dumbest thing in the world. But people do that all the time, especially MLMers. Another thing that the anti-MLM do, do or anti-MLMers do, and this, now nah, I ain't gonna lie, I, I, I was guilty of this. Marry me now, right? I know. That's how folks be nowadays. They don't know how to court. <laughs> but MLM will teach you that if you stay in long enough. It will teach you how to point out, how to find a person's problem. And only if you think you have the solution, then it is now your job to get creative and learn how to effectively communicate to them. Hey, like for me, I like, I do bait people. I'm not going to get in your inbox. I'm not going to chase you down. If you post a picture saying I'm ready for my bikini body, I'm not going to be like, hey, I saw you said something about a bikini bottle body. Do you know about my detox seat? No. No. I'm going to do something to make you notice me so that you reach out to me for the tea to get your bikini body. That's how that goes. Because the transaction is a lot smoother when you come to me. Right? And then it's a lot more enjoyable for us both. I like to have fun in my business. I don't like to not have fun. I, I didn't have fun when I was working corporate. So why would I leave a job that I hate and build a business that I hate? That's what I did at first, though. That's what I did. Mm-hmm. And it took me a long time to learn how to correct to, how to correct that. And the answer in doing that was that I had to be myself and I had to develop certain skills, Right? And once I developed those skills, then things really turn, started to turn around for me in a very, very big way. But do I think MLM is for everybody? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. If you're going to join and you don't even like some people don't even they, they join MLMs. They haven't even tried the product. I don't understand that because you should be. Now you're in a manipulation type situation. If you haven't even tried the product and you don't know what it does, how you can how can you communicate that to somebody else? You cannot. So like the anti MLMers will say things like they always tell you be a product of the product. Uh yeah, yeah. My hairdresser is a natural hair specialist. Did she have to be a specialist? Could she do natural hair and permed hair? Yeah, but if she if don't I feel better that she's a product of the product? Don't I feel better that she's a natural hair specialist? Yeah. All of my hairdressers have been natural. <laughs> this topic is, is, is the straight truth, no filter. Well, you know how I do. But all of my hairdressers have been natural hairstylists. So there's nothing wrong. And don't ever let somebody tell you that there's something wrong with being a product of your own product. Now, if you're buying a product that you hate, there is something wrong with that. But again, I go back to ask you, why did you join a company that has products you don't like? Who does that? Why would you do that? And that's when, the only reason why you would do that is if it's all about the money. And that's when you, you will never succeed if that's the case. Because now you are trying to bamboozle people. People are not stupid. They can see, they can see it from you a mile away. They can smell the manipulation from you. They're not stupid. Right. One of the best compliments that I get and I get this all the time is that people say, oh, Kim, I love you because you're real. It's not because I have a Bentley because I don't. It's not because I have a mansion because I don't. It's not because I have a million because I don't. It's because I'm real. Somebody asked me the other day. They were like, um, what did they say? Oh, the Nutriburst. The Nutriburst are Nutriburst. Liquid multivitamin. Blah, blah, blah. It's the equivalent of 10 salads. Somebody said, are the, is that the equivalent of 10 salads with or without me? Good question, but I had to tell her. In all my years of doing this, I've never been asked that. And the truth is, I don't know. Ten salads. That's all I got. And she laughed and she still bought it. <laughs> right? 
I don't know. I don't know the answer to every single question. I'm not going to act like I do. I'm not going to. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. This stuff is not hard, y'all. Let me tell you something. Life is not even hard. It's really not. And if you if you are trying to have a fruitful life, let me tell you something. There are some things that you're going to have to do. One of those things is that you have to look in your, in, at yourself in the mirror and be honest with who you I see I got a straggler here. This is getting on my nerves. This one little lock. Let me hide it. It gets, it gets on my nerves. Sorry, y'all. All right. <laughs> but in life, if you want to have a fruitful life, one of the things you're going to have to do is take a look in the mirror every so often and say, what can I do better? So that I can be more of a positive force for others because like attracts like and so that others, you know, I can ha bring more positive people in. You said leave it alone. <laughs> Tell her to eat a chicken when she drinks a Nutriverse, right? And I don't, I don't even think, and, and I'm, and I'm not saying this about her, but half the questions that people ask me are really, I don't even think they really care about the answer because so many of the questions that people make, what's going on, Sister V? So many of the questions that people make up, I be like, I don't know. And they'd be like, okay, well, put it on there anyway. And I'd be like, all right, girl. Do, 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 do. <laughs> I think people, some people just like asking questions, right? And there's nothing wrong with that. I have a sense of humor. It keeps me young. Y'all be cracking me up. But the anti-MLMers, they be getting to it. And one thing, um, they just want to see if I have an answer. Yeah, and I think sometimes people are testing me to see if I'll tell the truth, which I always do. If I if I don't know and I can find out, I'll find out for you. I'm not going to lose no sleep over it, though, you know, because I'm not hard up for a sale like that. And that's the irony of this profession. Like, when you, when you join and you broke and you need money for the life bill, nobody buys from you. Nobody cares. When the money start coming wrong, maybe it's that whole frequency vibration thing, but people can see it. When you don't need the money, do you know how much they be like, girl, you're going to take my whole check. And I'd be like, I sure am, girl. Do, 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 do. <laughs> you know, they want to put more on the total. More, hey, Kim, I, 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 man, when I started, I couldn't get referrals for nothing because you aren't referring people to me because you aren't even buying from me consistently. Now people bring me their sister. They bring me their best friend. If they got somebody who's buying TLC, they're like, mm -mm, you need to come to my girl Kim because she's going to save you money. She's going to look out for you, which is true. That's what I do. I treat people like how I like to be treated. I talk to my customers like they're my friends. You know why? Because I learned to talk to them before I was ever really talking to them. I learned to talk to them through the videos. I learned to say things to them that is exactly how I feel. It wasn't always the popular things. So guess what? A lot of people who don't like how I rock, they roll they behind the other way, right? So the people who continue listening to my videos, see, here's the trick. Here's the secret. The people who continue listening to me, that means they liked me. They liked me. What did Mike just say? I've been watching your videos all weekend. Mike likes me. And now I like Mike, right? So now here's the deal. When you are really yourself and you're not what you think other people want you to be. And you're not saying things that you think other people want to hear. And you're not saying things that your upline told you this will get somebody into your business. That your downline says this is how you need to better support. When you just tune into self and really start, you start working on yourself and you then you start to know who you really are. It's only when you know who you really are that you can show the world who you are. And as you do that, right, then the people who like you are going to continue to watch you. So now what happens is that when they reach out to you. You are going to like them because like attracts like. And if they like how you're talking, if they like how you act, if they like the things that you do, then chances are if you ever speak to them, it will feel like you've been speaking to them for years. That's my magic secret. So when I get on the phone with people, usually they be like, uh, is this Kim? And I'll be like, first of all, I'll tell y'all this. I don't answer the phone too jolly because, you know, I'm not those network marketers like, hey, this is K-I-M with TLC. How good? No, I'm not one of, I answer the phone like you a bill collector because most people don't call my phone. Only my mama, my best friend, Carrie, just a few. So if, if you call, I'd be like, who is this? <laughs> And then people are like, uh, is this a girl from YouTube? Is this Camille? And the, the yes, yes, yes. What's going on? That's what, and then I, 
And then I just instantly make you feel comfortable. Because now I know who you are. And I know you could have been watching my video for a day, for a week, for a month, for a year. So now I already know I'm going to have a good conversation with you. I already know that. Because you've been listening to me talk for however long you've been talking. However long you've been listening to me talk. And you like me enough to reach out. So now it's just a technicality of, you know me. Shoot. You know me. So now I just got to get to know you. So now I'm like... What's your name? Oh, your name's Sheree? What's up, Sheree? What's up? What's going on? What you need? Oh, I was just calling to see if you're a real person. Oh, really? You think I'm famous enough to have a team? You think I'm rich enough to have an entourage? Well, no, I'm not. So what you need, Sheree? And that's how the conversation goes. Easy peasy breezy. I'm not trying to rope you into my team because most people don't want to join the MLM. They just want to buy the products and be left alone. If you wanted to join my team, you would let me know and we would go from there. Easy peasy breezy. It's not a big deal. But now I will say these anti-MLMers have a point because there are people, and this is one of the things, one of the most gross things that people in my company do. And I love how the anti-MLMers highlight it. And if you're in MLM, you need to watch their videos to see if you've ever done this to somebody because they will. It's a mirror held up to you. See, your family, friends, they won't tell you because they love you and it's too nice. They don't want to hurt your feelings. But when you watch these anti MLM videos and you see people saying, hey, I only need this much product sold to reach this rank. Hold on a second. Hey, baby, what's up? My son did. Okay, yeah, you can stay and play. I'm right here. I'm going to be here. Okay, thank you. All right, you're welcome. Yeah, my son doesn't have a, 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 a cell phone. We walkie-talkies. We walkie-talkies over here. Cell phones are the devil. No, I'm just playing. <laughs> but no, there's no reason for me to have a son, my son to have a cell phone. You know why? Because he's always with me. <laughs> now, statistically, for a single parent, that would be impossible, right? But thanks to my handy-dandy pyramid scheme, right? I can save on that cell phone bill. $40, Amazon, $40 for four. What's so funny about this side note? And if you want the link, then just say hashtag walkie talkie <laughs> to 404-383-5953 and I'll send you the link. But what's so funny is um, his friend that he stays with, when his parents saw this, they were like, we love that. So now they bought the walkie talkies too. And now we all be walkie talking. We, yeah, we radio days, baby. So <laughs> sometimes my son's on the walkie talkie like, Miguel, don't forget my mom is on this channel too. I'd be like. I sure am. <laughs> I'm that mother, right? Statistically, I shouldn't be able to be all in my son's business like this. But thanks to my handy dandy pyramid scheme, I am. So do I care what the anti-MLMers have to say? Yes and no. They make some good points. However, the majority of what they say is based on what the majority of people do in their experience. And I've never lived in the majority. I've always been an outlier. I've always been an outcast. I was the girl in high school who was cool with some of the cool people and cool with some of the nerds. I had black friends. I had white friends. I had male friends. I had female friends. I've never been somebody that you can put in a box and cast a statistic to me and I just back down and comply. That's not my personality. Right. So if that's not your personality either, then what other people have to say negatively about what you're doing, it's not going to bother you. Thank you for being you and giving us this gem, these gems. Dang, I can't talk. Yes. Thank you for being here and watching. I'm wrapping up because this went longer than I thought. But I'm telling you all right now, if you haven't tried it before and if you have been in your MLM long enough that you have thick skin, go on over and, and give the, the anti MLM girls a watch. They're a hoot. They're quite colorful characters. Like I said, they use fudge a lot for emphasis and to really let you know how much they hate the MLMers. They say that we're a cult. They, and we do have cultish behavior. We do. We do. We have cultish behavior for sure. Right? Um, 
they make some bad points, but they make some good points. And if you are listening with an ear to learn, not an ear to lose, then you will stay in your MLM. You will take the information that they're giving you and you will make sure that you never do some of the things that they say other people have done because it is quite sad. I'm going I'm to end with this. There was a lady who was saying that, um, I want to know y'all's thoughts on this. This was sick. Um, but there was a lady who was saying that, um, I was trying to read this comment. They just want to see if you, money comes when you really don't need it. Woo, yes. Money, money has feelings. And that sounds funny, right? Because that's one of those things that us pyramid schemers say. But money, ha it does have feelings. I've read a lot of books on money. Took in a lot, took it, took in, took in a lot of, <laughs> that's another thing that, that us MLMers are. We're uneducated, right? We say things like took in a lot of classes. I've taken a lot of classes and courses on money. My money mentor is Myron Gold and he really helped me um, uh, around some hangups that I had about making money. That's another thing too, guys. If you want to bear good fruit, you got to get to the root. So I don't care what product, company, comp plan, sponsor, whatever you have. If you have some hangups about money, you ain't going to make none. It was not until I became unapologetic at letting people know this is a business baby not a charity right now i'm gonna work with you i'm gonna save you some money. i'm gonna save you more than any other toc rep and you're gonna enjoy doing business with me but what you're not gonna do is nickel and diamond it wasn't until i became very clear on that messaging that i got the great customers that i have right now and I mean, I have cu customers that leave me a tip like I'm a waitress. Like I've been getting them, like refilling their glasses of water for the last hour. And I ain't did nothing. <laughs> They'd be like, what's your cash app, Kim? I'd be like, dollar sign, better body crew. Like, am I a virtual prostitute? I might be, but it's okay with me. <laughs> but um, yeah, I mean, the anti-MLM people, they have some good points. The most gross story I heard was recently. So I'm going to tell y'all this, 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 this. I'm not an emotional person, but this kind of choked me up. So this woman who had a lot of issues with her health and weight, carrying a baby, she had lost a child. And then she got pregnant again and she actually gave birth to this child, but it was premature. So her, somebody she considered a friend reached out to her and was like, hey girl, I noticed that you post your husband a lot, but he doesn't post a lot of pictures of you. And the girl was like, he doesn't post a lot of pictures of anything. She was like, as she was reading this, she was like, he doesn't post a lot of pictures of anybody. He just posts gaming stuff. So she was like, I noticed that you post a lot of pictures of your husband, but he does a lot of he doesn't post a lot of pictures of you. That might be due to the fact that you've kind of, I've noticed you kind of let yourself go since having a baby. We got to hold it together, girl. Um, so I have some products that can help you and I'm doing a weight loss challenge. And it was just really gross how she approached it. Like this woman is postpartum. You're her friend and you're coming at her saying that her husband is probably not posting her on social media because she's gained weight or he's in, you're implying that he's embarrassed by her like what the hell is wrong with you and and it's all for her to get into your weight loss challenge and then it got worse it got worse so the girl told her friend um well no he's not even really into social media like that but um somehow it came up that she told her friend you know hey this is really not a good time or something like you know, my child is sick right now. I don't need this. And this is sales pack pitch was horrible. Like that was inhumane. Right. So the girl ended up telling her, like, I don't, I'm not thinking about my weight right now. I'm thinking about my preemie baby, especially because you don't know this, but I, I lost a baby before this one. So I'm happy this one is here, but I feel guilty that, um, that my body has because she you know again she's thinking this is her friend so even though she was initially taken aback and um offended by her words she still continued the conversation right they just said wait that is crazy i know right it gets worse though it gets worse listen <coughs> this is why i like the anti-mlm girls because you you you're exposed to so much so the girl was telling her yeah weight is the last thing in my mind like losing weight for vanity purposes. Right now I'm thinking about the health of my child and I'm thinking about my health because you don't notice that I lost a baby previously due to some health issues and just my body not being able to carry or whatever the case may be. So then the person went further and was like, okay, well forget the weight loss challenge, but I wish I had known this 
um, when you were pregnant the first time, maybe you wouldn't have lost your child if I would, if you had gotten on some of our health supplements, so I could have gotten you healthier. Now, here's the th deal, y'all, because let me tell you something. Some of y'all may have done this without thinking that you did it. I ain't gonna lie. I didn't do this. Like, that's so gross. If somebody has lost their child, don't, right, Sharice Sh said, what? Right, right, like, what? First of all, if this is your real life friend, pick up the phone. At this point, you no longer have an inbox. You, hey girl, oh my God. And this is what, this not all, but this is what a lot of network marketers do. They join network marketing company, their upline, their leadership, whoever tells them, basically like everybody is a potential customer. So then they start to look at people as walking dollar bills and they, they lose the humanity. Right? If somebody was your friend before, they should still be your friend now. Just because they don't buy from you doesn't mean they don't support you. It just might mean they don't want your product. Sometimes your friends don't buy from you because they feel like that'll open the floodgates to hell and then you'll start harassing them to join your team every single day or get on this call. Or th I know people who do that. I don't do that. I rock how you roll. Even after you join me. I'm only going to reach out to your butt like three or four times now. <laughs> and then I'm going to be like, okay, she really ain't about this life. He really ain't trying to do this. And I'm perfectly fine with that. But I do not chase. I do not impose. I do, I'm do. i always going to treat you like how I want you to treat me. And I'm going to treat you like a human being. But there are so many network marketers who do not. They have commission breath and they only see people as dollar signs. So that was the most horrible story I heard. There are plenty others. You can find them on the anti-MLM channel. Um, like I said, those are colorful characters over there. They will slice and dice up opportunity presentation call apart. Um, I ain't gonna lie. They're pretty, to me, they're pretty negative because they find something wrong in everything that you, you say or do. Like if you say, um, no, don't say you're having a bad day. Say I'm having a bad moment. They'll be like, this is an example of the toxic positivity that we're talking about. When you're in the MLM, you can't even have a bad day. They want you to be happy all of the time. And I'm just like, okay, there is a such thing as toxic positivity. However, you, we should all, regardless of whether we're in an MLM or not, we should not extrapolate moments out into days. That's only going to get you more depressed, feeling down, regardless of whether you're in an MLM or not. So again, when you go over there, if you go over there, take what you hear with a grain of salt. But if you're in an MLM, go over there with an ear to listen, not an ear to lose. Don't let them talk you out of your opportunity that you've, if you've actually bought into it, don't let them talk you out of it because shoot if they were able to then you never were really in it to begin with but if you go over there with an ear to listen then you'll say oh my gosh do I sound like that because I ain't gonna lie I, okay I said I was going in I mean I really am going to end with this I ain't gonna lie I kind of was that insensitive because I'm in a health and wellness company so guess what when I first joined my dumb butt walked up to all the fluffy people right Hey, have you heard of the company that helps you blah, 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 blah. And it took one time for a woman to really put me in my place. Like, out of all these people, why you came up to me? And I was like, I just thought you would like it. <laughs> she put me in my place good. Because just because somebody is fluffy doesn't mean it's their time to lose weight. It is offensive to walk up to them with a weight loss solution. You don't know. And, I, and my customers have helped me with this. It's not, um, it could be a health issue. That they, it's not always that they need an appetite suppressant. Or the, it could be a number of things going on. Do not go to people who haven't indicated somehow that they want you to come to them. Period period <laughs> they should laughing at me i'm she got me together real good and i'm grateful for the experience because i bet you this i ain't walk up to no more fluffy people mm -mm. i stayed my butt put <laughs> i'm an equal opportunity offender now <laughs> but anyway guys that is my video on that is my story on why i a person who is in an mlm that's hard to say a person who is an mlmer is a huge fan of anti-MLM videos. They're a hoot. They just...
keep those girls, those gals, those huns keep me in stitches. So <laughs> y'all let me know. Have you ever watched the videos that I make you want to go watch them? It's good entertainment. Did I make you go want to watch them? Um, let me know all the stuff down below. Thanks for those who joined live and I'll see y'all in the next one. Bye.